Dan from Orgchart Hub here. Just finished my meeting with the Queen and she's got a problem with her inbound leads due to the popularity of The Crown on Netflix. Um, but just so happened she was more interested in our renewal pipeline that we have set up. So I thought if it's good enough for Her Majesty, then I should probably share it. Behind every good renewal pipeline is a sales pipeline. So first of all, we drag the deal to one, we go absolutely crazy, celebrate, pop the champagne, and then in the background, there is a workflow that sets up the renewal pipeline. So we're flipping to the renewal pipeline now. And you can see it has populated the deal in the renewal pipeline. Now here is the workflow that we use to put it in place. We use three workflows in total on the renewal pipeline. So I've set up screenshots here so that you can pause the video at any point. Our renewal pipeline is set up of nine stages. The first being onboarding where customers spend the first 30 to 60 days. At that point, they go through our quarterly review process. So one to three months, three to six, six to nine, and then finally nine to 12. At each stage we have a workflow in place which helps with setting tasks up for those quarterly reviews. This is set up so that the HubSpot owner, which is the customer success manager, gets a task to remind them to put in place the quarterly review. The last stage of the pipeline is when we send out the renewal agreement and then hopefully we win the renewal, celebrate, thank the customer and the cycle starts again. The final workflow we have in place automatically sets up a new deal for the second year and populates it in the renewal stage of the pipeline. Setting up renewal pipelines in HubSpot is not a widely documented topic so hopefully this video helped you and if you have any suggestions for us then please don't hesitate to leave any comments. Thank you very much for watching.